Can you have fond memories of a miserable childhood? Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh, your source for insights on the latest and greatest and not so greatest movies that are coming out at the multiplex this weekend. My name is Josh Terry and today I am excited to tell you about The Glass Castle. I'm excited because this is probably one of my favorite, well it's definitely one of my favorite movies so far this year. Uh, also one of the best movies that I've seen this year. The Glass Castle is based on a memoir by a woman named Jeanette Walls who basically grew up on the road with her family, she, her mom and dad, and she had three siblings, and for the better part of her childhood, she was a transient. Uh, their family would bounce around from place to place, sometimes they'd sleep out under the stars, sometimes they'd sleep in abandoned homes. Uh, her dad was getting a lot of jobs and getting fired from a lot of jobs, and for one reason or another, the family was always on the move until they wound up settling into their dad's hometown, uh, Welch, West Virginia. Uh, which is where a good part of this movie takes place. Now, The Glass Castle is kind of told from two timelines. We meet Jeanette as she's an adult, played by Brie Larson, who's a successful writer in New York, and she's engaged to a financial analyst, and she's about to kind of embrace the, the wealthy, capitalist, American dream type of lifestyle. Meanwhile, her parents, played by Woody Harrelson, is her dad Rex, and uh, Naomi Watts is her mother Rosemary, they are out digging in the dumpsters in Lower Manhattan. And there's the, kind of this interesting juxtaposition where she's, you know, where she, Jeanette, is trying to move on with her life and reconcile this crazy childhood that she had. Um, and so we spend time with the, the Brie Larson adult timeline and kicking back and forth into flashbacks of her childhood, uh, where she, you know, the role is played by uh, younger, younger kids. Um, this movie is, in, is incredible. I and mean, it's, it's, it's drama. You know, it's based on a true story, and it's all about a character trying to learn to love her family and to love where she came from and to recognize the good in the midst of all the chaos that she came through. Because this movie, it, you, at times you, you adore the family and the characters, and especially the, the Rex character, um, but it's also kind of a nightmare. And you think, how on earth could anybody get through this? Because they're just, you know, they... they use the, the phrase hillbilly is just kind of a joke, but I mean, that's, that's kind of what the lifestyle is. There's this, this transient, uprooted, you know, no, dirt poor, terrible, terrible situation. And it's really remarkable to see her come through this. Now, um, this is kind of one of those movies that you'll really, really enjoy watching one time and then maybe won't want to go back because it's just kind of this emotionally touching, emotionally exhausting drama. Uh, it's, it's, I, I kind of think of this as one of those movies that I'm probably going to wind up having in my collection, but I'm not going to pull it out very often because it's kind of this huge deal. I mean, you know, you can pull out the Marvel movies and watch them over and over and over again and Star Wars and all that kind of thing. This is just kind of a special experience that, uh, that is not just something you're just going to churn out over and over and over again. Um, I actually wound up giving this one four stars. This one is definitely one of the better movies of the year. Um, Woody Harrelson, this is the role I think he was meant to play as you are watching him kind of bring this Rex character to life, who is this lovable, irresponsible, detestable character at the same time, uh, you're not really seeing Woody Harrelson do anything style-wise or delivery-wise that you haven't already seen him do many, many times. The difference is that it feels like every other role he has had up until this point has been building up to play this character. And so I wouldn't be surprised at all if he wound up with some serious award consideration uh, as a result of playing Rex. So the Glass Castle is rated PG-13. Uh, there is some, there's some profanity, uh, a little bit of violence, and then some suggestive sexual content. Um, nothing, it's, it's more implied than it is, than it is shown. Uh, mostly just kind of bringing to life the rough lifestyle that uh, Jeanette came up through. Uh, but in a strong way, this, this is one of the strongest family values movies that I have seen in, in a while. Uh, this one, it's worth the journey. So back to my original question. Can you have fond memories of a rough, miserable childhood? Leave your answers in comments below. Thanks again for watching. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry, and I would be thrilled if you would subscribe on your way out and keep your notifications on so you can see our newest videos as soon as they're posted. Uh, thanks to our friends at Rocky Gator for their continued sponsorship, and we'll talk to you next time.